everyone. And today we're going to uh, complete what we have started the previous video of uh, June exam 2022. And today we're going to discuss the answers for the question two. The first question says the box shows some changes of states. We have boiling, we have condensation, we have evaporation, freezing, melting, and sublimation. The table lists some physical changes. Complete the table using the word from the box to show the change of state for each physical change. So here we have a table that contains some changes in uh, states of matter, and we're going to choose the right description for each change. So here we have water, two ice. Water is a liquid and changing to solid. When we change back the liquid to solid, this is what we call freezing. So freezing is changing, is changing the liquid into solids. Going to the second question, uh, we need to find what describes the change from steam to water. Steam is the water vapor or gas and water is a liquid. So changing uh, a gas into a liquid or cooling down the gas to become a liquid, this is what we call condensation. Condensation, exactly. Then going to the next one, changing solid wax to liquid wax. I have here solid, need to be changed into liquid. So this is a typical example for melting exactly then iodine crystals crystals here we mean solid to iodine vapor vapor here means gas so here is a change from solid up to gas without passing by the liquid this change we tend to call it sublimation so sublimation is the change that takes place from solid straight into gas. So as you can see, we have taken sublimation, we completed freezing, condensation, and melting as well. So here you can guarantee the four, the four marks for this particular section. Second part, it says a student plans to obtain crystal, salt crystal, from a mixture of salt and sand. The student adds pure water to the mixture to dissolve the salt. So here we have two salts. One of them is soluble and one of them is insoluble. This one, the sand, is insoluble. As you know, it does not dissolve in water. And the salt is soluble. It means when you add water to it, it will disappear. So the question says, state two things the student could do to make the salt dissolves quickly. So in this case, we need to think about two things that we can do in order to speed up the process of dissolving. The first one, it's like tea. When you want to dissolve the sugar more quickly, we use a hot water. So heating up the mixture would be a nice solution to make the dissolving process much more faster. The second part, again like tea, when you add the sugar, we stir it in the cup of tea. So stirring or mixing is another solution or another way in order to speed up the dissolving process. So heating, you take one mark for heating and the second mark goes for stirring or if you want to write mixing, it will be okay as well. Second question, state what the student should do next to separate the sand from the salt. Here we have a mixture, salt solution, yani the salt has dissolved in the water, and we have an insoluble solid, solid which is the sand. In order to separate it, we use this device. Can anybody think about what do we call this? This is a filter paper or a here we put a filter paper okay here we have a conical flask and this is the funnel so putting the mixture on top of a filter paper the process is called filtration 
you can use filtration in order to separate the sand from the salt and as you know sand will stay over here because it's insoluble it will not go through the filter paper while the salt and the water will be coming over here and they will be called filtrate filtrate or you can call it as a salt solution in this question going to the next question here he says describe how the student can obtain pure dry crystal of salt from a salt solution so here you need to get crystals so we're not aiming to get small particle we need to have a large crystal so we're mainly discussing the process of crystallization exactly so in crystallization we tend to do different steps these steps will be described as following first of all you get the solution heated up so you heat the solution good second part when you heat the solution some of the water will start evaporates so water will start evaporating evaporate some of the water as you can see when the water start to evaporate you're going to start uh, noticing few particles of the salt they will change from soluble to insoluble the third part of crystallization is when you heat uh, when you let the hot solution to cool down we tend to cool this uh, solution for a couple of days so leave it to cool down at this point the solution will be starting to crystallize crystallize means changing the solid uh, liquid which has dissolved into sorry changing the solid salt which has dissolved into large crystal and building up the large crystal then the fourth part will be to separate the large crystal from the excess liquid which is found in this solution so you can remove the crystal from the liquid by the help of filtration as well so we'll go for filter in order to remove the large crystals from the liquid exactly so it's like separating an insoluble salt from a liquid after you filter the crystal it goes to the second part which is going to be let the crystal to dry so dry the crystal and this is going to make the crystals dry and then you can use it the way you want okay so this question is out of four marks as you can see uh, you are required to write at least four of them but i'll go to write everything so you can guarantee your full mark inshallah reaching to this part we have finished the question number two and inshallah we're going to complete uh, next video see you and have a good day